you guys welcome back i'm a chara kirk joined by steph sabra hello and we are carrying on with bog milka bog you guys if you haven't already please subscribe click the bell icon all notifications and upvote this video this is part three i forgot to mention that there are two other parts but if you're like let me just watch the whole thing with you you can do that on our patreon patreon.com slash jabby or by becoming a member on this channel all right let's get back into it i'm so sorry you need to go easy on yourself. It's so tough out there. No, he's an elite athlete. You're not blaming me, are you? Uh, kind of. Okay, okay. Just be, be gentle to yourself. Sorry, Stella. You no problem, G. I problem. He hit himself so hard, he like busted his lip. I'm really gonna miss you. Sorry, G. <laughs> Mm. Oh wow, back in the day they didn't have like covers on the luggage. So, what is the world record of Yeah, get to work. Yep. You got a goal now. Don't let girls get in the way. Well, this is a hard lesson. Oh. This is like a, a rocky training montage. Yeah. Oh, training so hard. Mm. That's some serious training. Yeah. <laughs> Running in the sand alone is hard. Running with a, a weight is hard. Put those two together. <laughs> and then the overhead, like, yeah. hot, hot sun, too. <laughs> I mean, if you can run in these conditions, you can run anywhere. <laughs> See, I watch this and I go, nowhere in my genetic makeup do I have that craziness to want to do that. Yes. Come on, move! Oh, man. Oof. That's some serious training. Yeah. Can you imagine, though, like, once you get on a track, how yeah. much faster you're going to run because you've been running in sand, lugging a freaking tire? <laughs> tire. He's like so far away. You can run uphill. Yeah, he's. Oh man, he's, he's just gonna different. fly. Yeah. He's gonna fly when he gets onto the flat, nice ground. Wow, the incline. Pretty easy. But my jagger. Did you hear Oh, my pen. Oh, oh my god. No. You peri ni utre. Koi baat nahi. Aur maza aayega. What torture coach? I get it though, but still, I'd be cussing him out of my head. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. You are fire. Yes. Dang. He, he is, is cut. So cut. <laughs> is he going to fill an entire bucket? Dang, his fitness. She's like, ooh, getting turned on. Yeah, I don't blame her. What? Oh, 
Oh, he's like, ah, ladies, stay back. Sorry, Ji. I don't want to forgive you. I don't want to insult you. Okay. All right. He learned his lesson. It's like, pretty ladies, not today. She's not going to be drinking and stuff. All right. So you had two years to overcome. Third Asian Games. Tum dilo, Abdul Khalid baat bada naam tha. Pakistan ki shan tha. Asia ka sabse tez runner. Wow. He looks like a big guy. Okay, quick off the mark. Oh, oh. Extra push right at the end. Ye milka singh hai? Aapke saath. Oh, rude. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, he hit nerve. Oh, my gosh. Comes this... from a lineage of warriors. Mm -hmm. This is personal. I feel like in this type of sport, though, it's always personal. Yeah, but, but especially when it's like. He, got, oh. he still qualifies though, right? Damn! Oh, we got third? Or is that just the order of their names? Oh, he got oh. first! Yes! Oh! Yeah! Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> he tripped, but he, he fell forward, so it's fine. He made it. Yay. Take that. Oh. What? What was that? Uh, that's, your, that's beef beginning. Yeah. Your mind games didn't work, sir. You put away your finger. All right. Does he smoke the competition in this one too? Looks like it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, totally. What was the time? 26.7. Oh. Okay, we need... To shave a second off. A second and That's some. huge. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> These are for you, coach. 
ਓਏ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਿਲਖੇ ਦੀ ਜਿੱਤ ਦੀ ਲੱਖ ਲੱਖ ਵਧਾਈਆਂ ਤੇ ਨਾਲੇ ਦੁੱਧ ਤੇ ਨਾਲੇ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਓ ਵਾਸ ਸੋ ਸੀਰੀਅਸ ਓਕੇ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਯਾ ਹੀਸ ਹੀਸ ਇਨ ਇਟ ਹੀਸ ਇਨ ਟ੍ਰੇਨਿੰਗ ਮੋਡ game mode activated let's go yeah 45.9 so just under 46 then mhm oh he want did it Bravo. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, swag. Hmm, they got like different colored jackets too. Yeah, yeah. Bas sab Rome Olympics mein tiranga lehrana hai. Oh yeah, we know how that ends oh, though. Oh no. So, yes, Pakistan se kaun sab ka phone hai? Yes, okay. Gentlemen, Excuse me please. Yes sir. I have a feeling he lost because of some sort of mind games from the Pakistani side mm-hmm. maybe. Pakistan ke president Field Marshal Ayub Khan ka phone aaya hai. Friendship Games ka hamara prastav manzoor kiya hai aur main chahunga ki hamare Milka Singh Pakistan jaye. It's a real tough ask. That's definitely very complicated. Yeah. Oh my. Oh crap, they have guns. Oh god, don't turn around. Oh god, he's going to turn back his knee. Yep. Iska matlab ek bahut bada ghav hai Pakistan. Yeah, that's an understatement. Woh mil gaya. Woh kitni chini dal raha bhai. Bada hi meetha bhi nahi laga. Galat baat. Mulkha ji, aap hamare sath Delhi chaliye. Nehru ji aap se personally milna chahte hain. मेरे अपनों का खून है उस हवा में मैं सांस नहीं ले पाऊंगा तुम एक फौजी हो देश को तुम्हारी जरूरत है But, like PTSD is so real. Yeah. Like there's a lot of trauma tied up with his relationship to this country which used to be his country. Khalik saab, kya aapko lagta hai ki is baar aap unhe hara payenge? Inshallah. Par Milka Singh hai kidhar? He's got to get his head in the game. Oh, is he going home? Um Sometimes you have to go back. That's true. Yeah. It's like this could be like the closing of a chapter for him. Or it could just be really traumatic. Reigniting. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, we did not need to see that. <coughs> Ma <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Uh. Oh uh, no. no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! 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 
Oh my god, this is like way worse than I even thought it yeah. was. Yeah. लोग बुरे नहीं होते यार हालात बुरे होते हैं उस वक्त भी हालात ही बुरे थे अपने मौलवी जी है ना उन्होंने पाला बसा मुझे बड़ा किया यार शादी कराई आप यही फोटो वाले मिल्खा सिंह है ना जो दौड़ते हैं तेरा चाचा यही फोटो वाला मिल्खा सिंह है जो दौड़ता है so much pressure for all of them yeah it's like 400 meters less than one minute for your country yeah that's cool that there was a time that Pakistan and India had the top runners in the world yeah all right some positive affirmations let's go you need that as a coach yeah even though i think he's kind of jerk but also go some we're rooting for milka of course you know i'm team milka every <laughs> all day every day milka singh ये आपकी जिंदगी की आखिरी रेस साबित हो सकती है। Why? दौड़ूंगा भी वैसे। Okay. That's a bar. Sassy. Right. He's we like back. That. Spicy Milka. He's like, I found my homie. Yeah. Someone survived. My head's in the right place. He gave me good advice. He really does have beautiful hair. Yeah. Oh yeah, run the race in your mind. Oof. Come on, yeah. Yeah, something else yes, is happening. Milka. Come on. <laughs> He's like, shut up, I'm trying to hear. Oh, is he gonna break his own record? Let's go, Milka! Come on! Wow. He's leagues ahead. I'm so glad he brought his friend. Dang. Insane with it right now. Yeah. Oh. What a shot. So cool. Bravo. Wow. I love his sister. Even, Aww. even he has to admit, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Oh. <gasps> oh, sports are the best, man. Yeah. Pakistan में मिल्खा सिंह की शानदार जीत का जश्न. Are we getting a holiday? इसलिए 
मैं पूरे देश में एक दिन की छुट्टी का प्रस्ताव रखता हूँ यस That's really sweet. It's probably like more important than gold in Rome. Right. Aaj se duniya tumhe ek Sikh nahi, balki flying Sikh ke naam se jaane. Pakistan aap ko ye khitab dete hue fakr mehsoos kar raha hai. Wow, that's really special. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, he exemplified all of those qualities. Oh wow, the casting was really well done. Yeah, I mean, he looks like him. They definitely got him to like really look like him. They look for sure. similar for sure. Yeah. When it's like based on a true story or a true life, as they say, so I'm always like waiting to see if there's like more pictures, I know, or like more information about what happened next. Yeah, you know? kind of amazing how well like they made him look like Milka. Did he end up marrying the swimmer? <laughs> like, I have so many <laughs> questions. I want to know more about Milka. Watching the love story parts of it, I'm like, I feel like those were probably the more fictionalized parts, yeah. just for the sake of making an interesting story most of the female characters in this were more like just moving the plot forward yeah just just like plot devices moving the plot forward totally. and if you need a girl it can't just be all dudes you know what i mean yeah yeah that was really really good i can totally see why jabby's like this is my favorite movie right it's excellent and also what i really appreciate about it as well is like yes it is like based on on the the life of a real person Person, right but then also it's dealing with some really sensitive issues especially with like partition and how people feel about Pakistan awful thing happened in his life which affected a lot of people and I'm sure if you ask so many people in India they probably have a similar story in their family about like something that happened especially like coming from that region because, yeah if you're on the border yeah probably would have happened to you or someone in your family but I'm, I'm really glad that they added in that part where his friend told him you know like it's not that people are bad necessarily it's just that sometimes circumstances can make them do bad things and I think that's an important reminder it's like when you're in the throes of a situation like that when you when you look at like the violence that happened as part of partition or even like violence in World War II or any of the wars. It's like, how are we capable of doing that to people who were our neighbors, who we like lived with, broke bread with and all of that? And it's like, yeah, because when you're in the throes of like a bad situation like that, sometimes you like get swept up in all of that and you end up doing some really horrific things, which obviously doesn't excuse anything that happened. But like moving forward, I think it's important to remember, you know, just like the overall humanity. And it was a great example in his friend who got taken in by the teacher, the Muslim teacher who taught them in school and like raised him as his own and like saved him and gave him a life. And so I'm really glad that was incorporated mm -hmm, in the story mm -hmm. because it could have easily just been a story about like, rah, you know, getting back at Pakistan and like hate and all that. Ultimately, love prevailed. No, I thought that they did that really respectfully. I mean, yeah. It's hard to know as someone from the States, it's not as um, close to home in yeah. terms of the issue but most groups of us have our people have experienced some form of oppression or genocide. I can relate to it on that level. It's easier to hate a people when they've done harm to you but it's the wrong thing to do. The right thing to do is know that situations make people act in a different way and it's not necessarily the people but the people in power. Exactly. And So I thought that they handled that really respectfully and full circle wise. It's so interesting what time can do. He was 
was just a child, I'm guessing 20 years before that happened. I don't know the exact date yeah. when he was a kid, but still it's like, that's nothing. And to see like that race actually happened between Pakistan and India, that's so cool. Yeah. It's like, what a special moment. But the movie in general was just such an excellent movie. I thought they handled the time really well. Like they covered 30 years or so. Yeah, it was like. like partition was like 47 all the way up to like 1960. So it was like, yeah, t- like 23, no, 13 years. Bad Asian. Yeah, I guess he would have been way younger as a runner. Whatever it was, it w- I thought that they did like the time jumps really well. Like yeah. I wasn't confused at all. I think they played with a different color scheme for the past. There was more sepia tones in yeah. there. And I thought that was nice. So many of us are like, best quality is oftentimes kind of can be our worst quality at times. He's a runner but I think like he tied that into like running away from his family. Right, yeah. And like when people are saying run Milka run that's what he does but it's also like how he felt like is the worst part of him is yeah, that he ran. Yeah that's really interesting. And then to like overcome that and for the Pakistan general I think he was yeah. to be like you're the flying Sikh yeah. now is I just thought that was like a beautiful writing undertone I don't yeah. know if he's actually called the flying Sikh but like that I think is so cool well yeah because like you said it was like a really important moment it was a high honor to receive that recognition from someone who represents a people that caused so much harm to your family who basically were like convert or die yeah you know to then recognize your religion and be like you know you're amazing i love when they do that in movies and like i hope that there are moments like that that come up in real life where it's like you know we can respect each other's differences but we can also celebrate each other as well which i think they did really really nicely yeah the way they set it up was so cool as well to kind of frame it almost like Forrest Gump where like they start with like oh I'm going to tell you a story and then they proceed to tell you a story and then it's like interspersed with like them on the train kind of like asking questions like oh okay what happened next and and all that and so yeah they did a really great job of like distilling this one amazing human being's life into a three hour movie that was like super engaging yeah very engaging for three hours yeah so emotional like I really loved all of the like psychological aspects of it as well which they really kind of brought back around at the end to show him running with his younger self yeah it's like it's such a beautiful moment to kind of imagine like because a lot of the time we have that inner child within us that is wounded and, and needs love and care and he managed to do something incredible and like come back to his homeland basically and win and just be like it's okay it's okay little guy we made it we ran we survived we made it the psychological parts of it were probably like one of my favorite parts because just for like anyone who wants to achieve big dreams it's all mental yeah it really is and it like there's so much to overcome and i love the idea of how they played with visualization of like writing down the time he was gonna be yeah and beating that time and like picturing himself running the track before he started running the track if you want to achieve anything like I really do like believe in that power of visualization yeah. and I thought they did that creatively they showed that really well yeah. in a way that you can like understand it without saying it they showed it without saying telling you it I don't know how the athlete was in general how Milka was in real life but we never heard him complain and True, I think that yeah. says so much you see you all the time like messy and like major athletes they come from nothing yeah and so like there's like this honor that they have that they get to do what they want want to do Mm -hmm. and so there's no complaint in that which is often why they're the best like a lot of times they say like boxers who come from money can't box because you're not fighting for anything but like it's like when you're fighting for your life like yeah i'm running for my life like i'm not gonna be you like i'm not gonna be milka he's running for his life out here (laughs) yeah the stakes are incredibly high it was amazing just to see his whole journey and i thought that farhan akta did an incredible job Not- with all of the training that he obviously had to do in Seriously. order to get like to look like an elite athlete. Zero body fat. Yeah, like 
holy crap his physique was mental but like all of the emotional beats he hit them so so well and like he really carried this movie and I loved his vulnerability his smile was my favorite thing about him as the character because he just kind of like you see the innocence of the young boy in him when yeah. he's like smiling he's, and he's cheeky like so little happy. bugger too yeah yeah I love that part yeah he's, he's got some like zest to him that I just I find it such like the most beautiful human thing is resilience yeah the struggles he had to overcome and to still have that smile on his face and to just like bring joy it's just like you're the best yeah <laughs> you're the best. and like I really felt that as well when he came back to Pakistan and he came back to his village and like you see all of the imagery and the sounds of the the traumatic event that that caused him to leave but at the same time I was thinking like wow but how far have you come because like you've managed to like survive run away and live a life that's full of joy and meaning now and I think it was a good reminder that like even though we might have these traumatic events in our past we can move on from them and we can find joy again even if like we're carrying around that baggage of whatever the heck happened to us that caused us deep pain. Yeah, such a great overcoming story. I loved it. The acting was incredible. Yeah. I really like think this was such a beautiful performance and by the child actor as well. He yeah. It was in- so fun to watch. Uh, I just really loved this movie and the music was great too. At first I was like, okay, where are we? But then I got that they were doing different music for different eras. Yeah, yeah. and it, like it made sense for the, for the film even though so, like at certain points and especially in the beginning it was like why is the music sounding more modern than the period that we're in but like it worked for the character yeah and it worked for moving the story ahead mm-hmm. so like overall i thought it was really great so you guys what did you think like how does this movie rate for you is it in like your top movies list because this is one of jabby's favorites and it's definitely now up there for me because it's what a, what a film. I know it's really up there for me, but it's so hard because I've seen so many great yeah. sports movies, like even just like from being on this channel, like Dongol and um, Chuck Shop, Day, Chuck yeah, Day yeah. yeah. I mean, this is definitely a top, it's in the same league. I yeah. just can't pick between them. Yeah. Like, they're just all so good. <laughs> MS Donnie, that one was awesome too. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many. Lots of, lots of great athletes from India. Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. So you guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Let us know in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video if you enjoyed it. And we will catch you on the next one. And speaking of the next one, if you want to recommend some other movies that you think we might enjoy, please do so in the comments comments below and we'll check them out. I'm Achara Kirk. This is Steph Sabra. Ciao.